All right, you guys. So, back in my video, y'all know I'm dropping videos back to back, man. I'm really on a mission. Like, I'm really on a mission. I looked at a couple different houses. Um, one house I'm looking at, it's a six bedroom, six bathroom. Another house I'm looking at is a five bedroom, three bathroom. I'm looking at a couple different homes. Um, I'm grinding, bro. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't even going to speak too much on it. Manifestation is all I'm going to say. Manifestation. Um, so, as of right now, Puppies are three days old. Um, you guys know I normally always had a, uh, remember I told you guys, um, last litter, um, we lost no puppies. Um, I personally think I was dehydrating them because I would keep it. So normally when they were three days old, I don't have my oxygen machine on because I don't know, it's, it's messed up, it's not working. So normally, um, I would have it on like 89, 90 for like the first four or five days. Um, and I think that was really dehydrating them. So right now I got on 84, 85 actually, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it down to about 83. So kind of, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, keep that. So, um, so I'm paying close, close attention to all these puppies. Um, she got her food, milk and everything in there. So I got my secret formula. Um, I'm gonna get a puppy some of this, uh, maybe one or two drops. Drink that. I got this. Got my bottle. Um, I'm gonna be out. I done tried so many bottles. Let me see. I done tried so many bottles, but this is like the best bottle I've actually found to be the best bottle, like for me. Um, I guess because it's shape, y'all got you guys see how listen, y'all know her nipples are combobulated, so. Got their milk. That's for Cliff Palace, but I'm actually giving, I'm actually bottle feeding. Again, I don't know why, like, I like the fact that, like, I can bottle feed them and let them drink off a nipple. So I let them drink off a nipple for about, um, most of the time, then I just give them a little bit of uh, bottle feed. But the one with the Cliff Palace, I kind of let him do both. I let him drink off a nipple, then I bottle feed him. Just the way he, you know, say he don't feel left out. And wipes. Y'all know these are essential. So these are uh, postnators. So I'm giving these to her. I'm actually I'm doing twice a day. I, I mean, you gotta do once a day. Technically, you're supposed to do once a day, but I'm doing twice a day. All right. So let's get it done, y'all. They in there sleep. I'm talking about they out of there. So normally I put the smaller ones in there first. Let her be a mom. Let them clean them. Get them right. Let her stimulate them. So this guy, this right here, this is a male. So as you guys can see, huh. this is a great mom, by the way. She's a great mom. But as you guys can see, this is a chocolate meal. This chocolate meal is staying with me. You guys know I said um, me and George put them down. We get three and three. So this meal, chocolate meal, is staying with me. So this is my chocolate meal. This right here is a chocolate female. Come on, you no, 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 you can't lay down right now. You got more to clean. Come on, lay down in a minute. You got more to clean. Hurry up, they peeing, GG. Catch it. Did he catch it? Come on, GG. Come on, GG. Come on. Come on, GG. Let's do it. Come on, baby, let's go. You can't, you gotta clean the rest of these. You, so you're just gonna abandon everybody else. Come on, man. This female. Chocolate female right here. These puppies are real dope, man. Real compact, small, thick neck. Y'all know this my man's. Come on. Come on, Gigi. Come on. Let's finish this real quick. Let's finish this. Hold on, I got y'all, come on.
got this female. So I'm not even gonna lie. I get first pick female, which we know I'm gonna get a chocolate. I don't know which female it's gonna be, but it's gonna be between, it's obviously gonna be between these two females. I don't know which one I'm gonna get. This female look a little bit smaller, but you guys see her tail is longer. I don't know, I'm gonna let them get a little bit older and just see. But they all looking pretty good, man. They looking real nice. Nice bone, dome. And then I also get a black female. Come here, Gigi. Gigi. So all the black pups. You know what's so crazy, bro? I'm going to just be honest with y'all. I'm going to just let y'all see this off rip. Hey, GG. Nobody understands what I be saying about black dogs. Like, nobody want black dogs because of their color. But realistically speaking, black dogs are, they like, they like, they just, I'm going to show you guys. Look, this is a female and this is a female. Just look at the difference in head size, girthy. Y'all see the difference in the girth and the head? Black dogs just naturally, like, have structure and size. Naturally. As y'all can see. And just so y'all don't think I'm playing, I'm going to show y'all a different chocolate female. GG. I'm going to show y'all a different chocolate female. And a different black female. Just so y'all don't think I'm playing with y'all. Just so y'all can see what I mean. Like, these black dogs, I'm not, man. Like, they structure. Like, they, they, they be on a point with structure. Boom, boom. So let me see. All right, so this is another. This is a different type of female. And well, this chocolate female look pretty good, but you see that neck? Well, they both kind of got necks, but like it's just like with the black dogs, man. It's just different, man. Like they just naturally be boned up. You see that? Gigi, huh? Finish, Gigi. And she got a tail. Look at this black female right here. Oh, GG. All right. All right, up. Wipe that down in a few minutes. Let me, um, let me scoot up. Come on, Gigi. Gigi, you know you gotta lay over here, baby. Gigi, they need the heating pad, baby. So you gotta lay over here. You got a nipple? Yeah, you got one. Come over here. Let you grab that. Come over here. Let you grab that. So for right now, you go ahead and take care of him. So normally when I let him get on her, I kind of let him go by himself. And before you guys even say it, I do know that, well, for people who don't think I know, for people who don't know, if you make your own milk for puppies, you can't make it too thick. Like, so like, let's say, for example, if they were two, two and a half weeks old, see how thin this milk is? It's very thin. It's super thin. So if they were like two and a half weeks old, it'd be a lot thicker. Um, I should have gave that to him first. I get that to him later. Uh, let me go ahead and feed this little guy real quick. I got this just in case he aspirate. This little guy very special to me, man. He's he's real special to me. Man, it's just like. What's so funny, y'all, is like, 
I read all the comments and like I see negative comments and bro like I can't get mad like I don't see how some YouTubers and some guys get mad at the negative comments like bro I'm blessed like I'm really blessed like I'm blessed to be where I'm at I'm blessed to be here I'm blessed to have everything I have I'm blessed to be having litters I'm blessed to have so much success and be financially stable, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to say, I'm not going to act like I'm rich, you know what I'm saying? Because in my eyes, being rich is being a billionaire. So if I got a million dollars, I still don't consider myself rich. Or if I got 500 cases on the cash, I still don't consider myself being rich. You know what I'm saying? But just having this success I have humbles me, man. It's like, because just how God give everything to you, he can snatch it back from you. Trust me, I know, man. Like, And... With me, man, it's just, I'm, I'm humble, man, because, like, I came from nothing. Literally, I came from nothing to, to where I'm at now, man. It's just so amazing to me, and I love it, man. It just, that's why I don't get mad at comments that negative, because it's like, yo, like, what am I mad for? What am I really mad for? My life is good. So why be mad if your life is good? You know what I'm saying? So there's really no point in getting mad. Like, I'm blessed. My kids are good. My family's good. I'm on the way to buying a million dollar home. I'm blessed. That's all I can say is I'm blessed, man. Um, but uh, let me go ahead and um, finish uh, feeding him and feeding him. I'm going to come back to you guys in a few when I'm hitting them with the syringe. Um, so give me a few. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right? We out. All right, family. I'm back. Checking back in with y'all. Um, so I done put my man down here. Done feed him. As y'all can see, he real fat. He done ate good, stomach real swole. So he got, I think I overfed him a little bit. He all right, though. So he's good. Already wiped that down. Throw one of these in here. Wipe this down real quick. Again, y'all, y'all know I like all my stuff, my area and stuff clean, so I like to keep it clean and wipe down and all that good stuff. Keep everything as clean as possible. I mean, of course, it's not gonna be A1, but I wanna keep it clean as possible. I'm gonna be ordering my new incubator that, uh, I'll probably order that after this litter, after, um, I get this litter gone because you guys know I had a few I had a few ask me about okay. I had a few ask me about buying this off me but I don't know if y'all was paying attention to my video this I'm not selling or giving, uh, throwing away. This is going to one of my guys who joined CB Killers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that to him. That way he already got one. We're gonna go buy the one that the vet used, the big, the big, you know what I'm saying, the big one. My game plan is to either buy five or four, uh, five or six bedroom. That's my game plan. Um, reason why I want a big house, cause I don't know, I'm claustrophobic, so I like big things, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, I get me a five or six bedroom. My game is to get something with land. So that way uh, I can put me a thing out there. That way no dogs will be in the house. Once I get my new house, no dogs will be in the house at all. No dogs will not be in the house. Um, unless it's like a house dog, or a little small palm or something like that. Um, but no dogs will be in the house. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the, I'm going to get a big old little, um, I have to just show it to you guys. I can't explain it. It's like a shed, but it's very big. It's, it's like super big. You can fit maybe like six or seven, eight, nine, ten cars in it. You know what I'm saying? So it's, that's just to give you guys an idea how big it is. Um, plus, I'm gonna put a couch out there, a TV, I'm gonna put um, a bed. Hey! Hey! Let me go. They good, they good, they good. So, hey. Hey, everybody crying. 
Anyways, y'all. Uh, so I'm gonna make it like a little house out there. So that way, uh, what I can do is when I open puppies, I'll stay back there while I'm whooping the puppies. Or I can even do what I'm done is come back up to the house. But I'm gonna put a TV out there, refrigerator. It's gonna be like a mini house. Like it's gonna, I'm gonna make it real comfortable, AC, air conditioner, heater, everything. Um, toilet, literally everything out there. So I'm set up so I can literally, I, cause I don't want no dogs in the house. Um, but they fall asleep right now. So let me go ahead and hit them with this since they're falling asleep. Go ahead and hit them with this. All right, so before I actually put them back, lay down, Gigi. Make them use the bathroom again. Before I put them back in there, make sure they're not constipated. Where is my... So normally what I do is I just take this and just stick it right here, just to make, you know what I'm saying? Just to make sure they're not constipated. Help them use the bathroom if they're constipated, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes stimulating the rubbing don't help good enough. And you want to make sure they're using the bathroom. So you just want to stick that right there to make sure they're not constipated. Because, trust me, sometimes when you got litters, man, and you once you start breeding and you're starting to get your own litters, you'll realize, hey, I got puppies in the, in the wherever I got them at, welcome box, incubator, wherever you got, where you ever going to have them at. And you'll realize, like, they crying, but they're not hungry. They're fed. They're not cold. You know what I'm saying? But you're wondering why they why they crying. It could be because they're constipated. And yes, it is common for them to be constipated. So you just want to make sure, like I say, you just want to make sure they're not constipated. That way they can sleep and be comfortable when they're asleep. Boom. This little boy look pretty good, y'all. He will be up for grabs. Chocolate meal. You guys all know uh, Call Drop was a chocolate lilac. Call Drop is lilac. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm just going to repeat the cycle with all of them. I'm going to come back to you guys when I'm on the last one because I don't want to make this too, too long. Actually, you know what? We ain't got nothing but time. Y'all like me. Y'all like long videos, so just stay right here. I'm going to do the same thing to each and every one of them. Y'all like long videos anyway, so what the heck?
So that should last to do. That should last the rest of the puppies. Got three more left, so that should last them. So I don't stick it in there far. Literally, literally all I stick is the metal tip in there, as you can see. I don't go in there far. I don't sh shove it in them, none of that crazy stuff. All right, guys, that's the end of the video because I want to get them a little bit of this uh, milk, bottle feed these last few ones because I don't like the way they feel. They pretty thick, but I want to make sure they're pretty good. Um, but that's the end of the video, guys. Leave a thumbs up. Um, as always, comment, negative, positive, whatever, man. This is an open channel, man. Leave how you feel. There is no judgment on this channel. Leave how you feel. I love y'all. I love the support, man. Y'all just keep vibing, man. We keep vibing with y'all. Um, knowledge in y'all. Again, I don't know everything. One thing about me, I never said I knew everything. I never said I was new at all. So always remember that. Um, I'll catch you guys in my next video. I love you guys. We out.